Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you are fantastic. I hope your week is going really well. If you're new here, my name is Savannah. Welcome. Uh, we are continuing our legacy challenge today. I just wanted to answer some questions that you guys had on the last video. Um, one of them being about the mods that I used. So let me just like go to my mods folder really quick and lift, lift off, <laughs> list off every mod that I use. Um, that actually like changed my gameplay like pretty pretty drastically so number one of course being MC command center cannot live without it it helps you control every aspect of the game uh, same with UI cheats that one's really good um, those are more like like behind the scenes aspect like easily fixing their mood easily getting rid of moodlets that you don't want um, just like that type of stuff. But gameplay wise, <laughs> um, I think MC Command Center is actually a good mod for gameplay because there's a lot of things that you can change in the settings that change your game. Like you can do no strings attached woohoo. You can do no jealousy with your Sims. The, the uh, freaking opportunities are endless. So if you do download the mod, make sure to watch a video of someone like going through the settings and showing you exactly what you can do with it because there's so much. The one, the mod that I used to buy the bar was from Little Miss Sam. Um, it's called More Bible Met. More. <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. Um, I need to like get my motor skills going here. More Bible. It's called More Bible Venues. Um, I also kind of recently put base mental drugs in my game um, just for a little bit of realism on that part. Base mental drugs puts like real alcohol at the bars, like the names and stuff. Um, you can buy drugs if you want to, cigarettes, um, all that kind of stuff. I don't use it that often, but I like having the option there if I want to. <laughs> Um, so the mod with the separating, the cheating, the jealousy, blah, 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 that is all part of Woohoo Wellness. Woohoo Wellness is like a blanket term for like, I don't even know how many mods, but I want to say there's like 10 to 15 different modules that you can download for it. So you basically download the 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 mod that you need like the the one that will make it work and then there are a bunch that you can choose from that you want to add to your game like that have to do with relationships pregnancy separating um custody like all that kind of stuff it's called woohoo wellness i also have wonderful whims in my game i can't live without that mod anymore um, there's just a lot of aspects about it that I love, especially the attraction system. So with Wonderful Whims, you can randomly generate physical preferences for your Sims that they look for in their partners, like hair color, eye color, hair type, etc., etc. Um, you can randomly generate them or you can um, choose them yourself. Love that mod. Can't live without it. Um, I also use Better Build and Buy. Um, I use longer parties, more guests, which makes every event that you have um, last until you cancel it yourself. And you can also invite as many people as you want, and you can invite anyone that's in that save file, even if you don't know them. So that's really nice. I want to say that's all that I have in my game right now. As far as like script mods go, those are the only ones that I see, and those are the ones that like really uh change my game also another question that you guys had was am i ever gonna bring back not so berry again and i absolutely am i just want to finish this first um i kind of want to just like focus on finishing one challenge at a time instead of doing a million challenges at once so once legacy is done i will put all of my time on my youtube channel of course finishing not so very so don't worry it'll be back soon <laughs> all right guys i think that's it for all the questions that you had let's get into this episode of legacy i'm so excited i hope you guys are too i've just got an iced coffee this morning so cheers also i just wanted to say i love you guys thank you for being here watching these videos supporting me all right enough sappy okay here we are back in the compost household it is the middle of winter right now oh actually we're creeping towards the end already that's crazy let's have a look at the calendar so tomorrow is new year's eve and then 
We got egg day, love day, and then Sarah's birthday in like a week. <gasps> I am so excited for Sarah's birthday. Holy crap, I cannot wait to see her teen form. That's gonna be so fun. And then we also have Edison and Evangeline's birthday um, in about 10 days here. Ooh wee, that's really exciting. All right, so Sarah and Ren are currently out of the house right now. Sarah is at school, Ren is at work. Um, a lot of you, one of you guys mentioned that Sarah has been making a lot of friends at school and they've all been like boys. So you guys kind of like the idea of uh, having her be a tomboy, having her live that farm life, um, yeah. I think that would be really cute actually and then for Edison kind of just like focusing on raising Sarah right now which I really like oh my god is the maid pregnant oh congratulations who are you having a baby with I'm so nosy Beckett Rob hmm I don't know who that is but congrats let me um get rid of all this Christmas stuff as well all right so yeah it's feeling it's feeling a little weird around here. Teddy is actually back home for now. I don't know if that's gonna last or not. I don't know if she's going to reach out to us, but I would really like to have a conversation with her. I saw that we could ask her her reasons for cheating, which I think it would be kind of interesting. I don't know, maybe we should like go meet up with her somewhere. I was about to check when he had work, but then I remembered he doesn't even have a job, so. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's just like travel somewhere and meet up with her and like have a conversation. I don't know if we want to commit to like going to eat with her or something or if we should just go to a park. Yeah, maybe let's just go to a park or something and talk on a bench somewhere. Uh, I hope that she agrees to meet with us because our relationship is like pretty trash now. Also, um, so an update, hold on, <laughs> an update about, uh, like my, like uh. when I passed out and stuff. And I think the last thing I told you guys was that I, uh, would, was going to go see the neurologist. I went. And after she like did all the tests and stuff, she doesn't think that I had a seizure. So I still don't know what happened. Um, I'm just thankful that it didn't happen again. It hasn't happened since. I think the next thing that I want to do is like get my hormones tested, get tested for POTS. Cause a lot of people have told me to like check that out. Um, but I'm trying not to worry. I'm trying not to dwell. I am just thankful for my health currently. And uh, yeah, I'm just taking it step by step. So let's go ahead and sit here and have a conversation. I'm very curious to see what she's going to say. I kind of want to ask her to pursue her dream job. I'm like curious as to what that is. Mm, let's just have a deep conversation with her to start. Squarble Tarbahe Farbina. Lizarak. Oh, her mood is fine oh, right Vina. now. Huh. Wonder what went wrong? Oh my gosh, that's interesting. What else can we do? Oh, oh, maybe it's all, maybe it's just all circumstance. Too much work or too little. Not enough quality time. Maybe it doesn't mean we're not good together. Interesting, okay. So she is looking at it from an optimistic side. I can't ask her the reasons why she did it. Ask Teddy to sever ties with the sim she cheated with. That's all that we can do with that. <laughs> okay, they're laughing about it now. Oh my God, he just blew a kiss to her. This is not what I wanted. I just wanted you guys to talk. Oh my god, what are you doing now? Ask for a question. I literally... What is that? Unga. Wait, sit down. Strong independent sim from feeling furious with someone nearby. It's not Edison. It's definitely that sim who broke Edison's heart for no good reason. Staying on course. Edison is determined to stay separated for the moment and interactions will not make him change his mind so easily. 
Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I guess he made up his mind about that. That's fine. That's great. <laughs> oh, here's a whole nother menu. Wow, there's a lot. Promise to change. Gauge common level of reconciliation. What does that mean? Criticize life choices, blame for relationship problems. Discuss the children's future. I guess we should probably do that. Jessene Klonkas Rabana. Uh, Floopy. Philbar. Oh, and Fora. Uh -huh. I don't understand why she's so like, what is that? Insult. Is she gonna insult Stop us? It. Quarbo Daish, Quimbo. He insulted her and now she's. I didn't even make them do this, guys. Okay. Yeah. Most like Jeff and Al. All right. Well, we know how Teddy feels and we know how Edison feels. Teddy is thinking that. Gosh, what did she say? Maybe it doesn't mean we're not meant to be together. So she still has hope, but Edison is very, uh, very uh, solid on his decision to separate based on his moodlets. Very interesting. And then they started insulting each other. So that was like my cue to leave. I only wanted to meet up with her to ask her why she cheated, but that little, little option went away. All right, well, I don't think we should meet up with her anymore. If she tries to contact us, then we'll see what she wants. But other than that, I'm just going to leave it. All right, how are your skills looking, my boy? You've almost maxed cooking, so why don't you work on that a little bit? What time is it? 3 p.m.? Let's make some cupcakes. All right, Sarah's home. For some reason, she can't get her freaking grades up. Uh... Oh my gosh, she's in desperate need of some fun. She's feeling confident though. I believe in me from confidence gain, learning from mistakes from losing confidence, and then shared joy. All right, why don't you like make some crafts? Make friendship bracelet? How cute. All right, Edison has made the cupcakes. And I'm gonna need you to keep cooking because I want you to max that skill for me. Max that skill for me. Max that skill for me. Oh shoot! Ren got promoted again. Select branch, judge or private attorney. 140 an hour, 120 an hour. Uh, it's a $20 difference. Let's do private attorney. Nice girl, I'm proud of you. I think she's almost maxed it. Bangers and mash. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, lead litigator. Sheesh. And Ren has the workaholic lifestyle now. I guess I'm not surprised. Look who's coming to greet us. You need a bath. So bad. Uh, okay, so she is level eight. All right, two more promotions and then we can pick a different career for you. She's making a bracelet. Really, it's just a cloud? That's quite silly. Did you do it? Did you make it? Is it in your inventory? It is, how cute. A friendship bracelet that's ready to be exchanged with a special friend. Ooh, I love that. Okay, we should choose one of the people she met at school. We have Rodrigo, we have Brendan, who is a uh, family. I thought that she had met... Oh shoot, Carson. Yeah, it was Carson, but he aged up already. All right. And also Austin. Austin, Lothario, and... Oh, Kaysen. Those are the two that she met at school, but they have already aged up, which is kind of unfortunate. So I guess Rodolfo, we can hang out with some more. There you go, Edison. Max the cooking skill, baby. That's what I'm talking about, sir. He made cupcakes and bangers and mash. Bangers and mash, I think are like mashed potatoes and sausages. All right, what skill do we want to do next? Video gaming, he's almost max, logic. Also, let me look at the collections again. Um, so postcards, blah, 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 aliens, fish, geode. Oh my God, I cannot believe how many plants are in your inventory right now. I guess let's go, try and go to, try and go to Sixth Sam with her. Cause we do need to keep working on those collections. 
Oh shoot, Teddy's here. Um, I wonder if she's here to visit Sarah. Maybe we should say hi. Just go tell her a goofy story. Edison is sleeping, so it's probably for the best. Okay, I think we're going to 6M right now. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I can't remember the last time I was here. Spice Festival, we can't. We're literally on another planet right now. Jonquilis? Oh, Anna Beth and Colby had a baby. Uh, William also had a baby and Marnie had a baby. So many babies. Why do they always have babies at the same time? It's like it's never just one person. <laughs> I'm sure you all know the vibe with Sig Sam. It came with the get to work pack. You have to build a rocket and max it, max upgrade it, and then you can travel here. Just working on collections at the moment. Oh, here's some aliens. What's up, y'all? How you guys doing? Carrie Rush, Rebecca Cooper. And then we got Iker Havens. I love this for us. We're working on our collections and we're actually finding stuff. Jared Van Horn. I wonder what happens if we drink an alien's blood. All right, well, I think that we have fully depleted this planet of its resource. Oh, no, we missed one. Oh wow, we missed this whole area, I think. We're just leveling up our gemology skill by digging. That's pretty cool. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's go home. I'll double check the collections when I get there. All right, Ren, let's check out your haul. Wow, okay. <gasps> wow, this is worth $300. A live blue slug. Uh-huh. We got a live space porcupine, which I think that's what this is. Yes, it is. This is a sunflower frog. Okay. This is a postcard. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the new crystals here with this. Fire opal. I think we already have one. We do. So I'm going to sell this. This is a quartz. I don't see a quartz on here. And then this is a diamond. Nice. Actually, put that there, put that there. This is a orange topaz. This is a jonquilist. That's what that is. Sell that. Actually, maybe we should hold on to these instead of selling them so that we can make uh, like crystal stuff. There's our elements. Okay. Mm. All right. Unfortunate. The elements are so freaking hard to find. Okay, and then we've got these geodes, which we need to uh, polish. <gasps> oh my god, we completed the geode collection! You guys, that is so exciting. That is so freaking exciting. I think that was our first collection that we have completed. Holy cannoli, holy cannoli, we freaking did it. Let it, let's go. Uh. That's so exciting. Our first collection, I think. Done. Done and done. All right, let's open up these capsules. Okay, it doesn't look like we got anything new, which kind of sucks. That's okay. Goth boy and Tobor. Tobor's cute. Okay, let's have a closer look, shall we? So metals, 12 out of 20. Gardening, 31 out of 32. I don't know how to get that one. That's so annoying. Crystals, 14 out of 20. Elements, 10 out of 15. Fossils, 9 out of 15. We're pretty close with fish as well. Oh, the decorative eggs was the first one that we completed. Just kidding. Okay, cool. And then with the frogs, I bet you we can like breed them to try and uh, try and complete. It's all good. Hopefully we can complete the crystal collection once these trees grow. We can fertilize these with our pet poops. I don't know why they haven't sprouted yet. I feel like it's been so long and they're still so tiny. 
Sarah is vibing in Ren's house. What do we need to do? We need to max our social skill, become friends with three other children. Oh my God, it's 2.30 in the morning. Honey, your sleep schedule is so off. And then the skill that we were working on for Ren is uh, robotics. So yeah, I do want to max that and then re research and debate after that. Also, this girl is out of plasma packs again. I can't even believe it. <laughs> she freaking goes through those like nobody's business. It's New Year's Eve, baby. You already know what we're going to do. Celebrate at the bar, probably. I don't know. <laughs> um... Let's also invite Rodolfo, Rodolfo over so that she can get to know him a little bit better. Who are you? Don't tell me that's Papa. It is paparazzi. Crazy. RC quadcopter. We need a mechanism for one of those. That sounds kind of fun. Let's make one of those. Oh, oh, Rodolfo's here. All right, Sarah. You like video gaming? I'm not surprised. I'm really not. Ask for advice. Okay. Share ideas. Heartfelt compliment. We do need to max our social skill, so the more talking we can do, the better. Oh my gosh, what have you guys left the most detailed comment on my last video about just like the whole legacy situation? Oh, I like your makeup. It's really cute. Just like the whole story. They basically wrote an entire story about this generation. You guys should go check it out. I pinned it on the last video, but um, I just love how how they talked about how this family is like old money because it makes so much sense. They've been rich for so long. You know what I mean? I thought that was really interesting. Is this thing for toddlers only? I want her to play on this with her friend, but it's like not letting me click on it. It must be just for toddlers. Toddler tunnel. Yup. Okay. I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to get her some proper... Proper, a proper playground, I suppose. Uh, so, outdoor activities is probably... Let's see here. What do we got? Oh my god. Should we get her a horse? Or some kind of animal, like right now? We just get her a Ferris wheel. Like, why not? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we could totally do a tree house. We could build one treehouse base oh man that could be that could be really cute edison build the treehouse for your daughter i know it's the middle of winter but like it's the last day of winter so you could build it for uh for springtime and i think sarah can join yes she can join oh my god cute this is from uh gro not growing together i think so yeah growing together oh my god look at him go this is my first time doing this, by the way. Oh, they can all join. That's so cute. It's helping her mental skill. Oh my god, look at her with the blueprints. <laughs> I bet this was Edison's gift. Edison's gift to Sarah for Christmas. Social level nine. Red is just supervising, telling Edison what to do. Oh my gosh, Rodolfo's erratic. Ooh. Sarah's just surrounded by erratic sims. I don't understand you, Evangeline. I told you to help them build the treehouse. But you left, went to the bathroom, and you're just like sad because you want to be around people. And yet when you're around people, you just leave. I have a feeling she's going to develop the gloomy trait because she's always sad. I think since we're we're going into a new year, we should probably move her out. I could be her New Year's resolution is to move out, or maybe we should like wish for happiness. Cause like I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do at this point. I don't think I've ever wished for happiness before in the wishing well, but maybe she's like, I am just so at a loss right now, my life, I don't even know what I'm doing. So she is desperately going to make a wish for happiness. 
$5,000 down the well. The well is very happy, so let's make a wish for happiness and see what happens. Froogie. Yes. Ha. Yeah, to boo. Evangeline feels cheerful. Overjoyed, even. That's a fair deal for a single simoleon. Well, that's not necessarily uh. true. It was like 5000 but... We're still sad. Forever cheerful. Still sad though, so that was kind of a waste of time. Hey, what happened? Did you finish the treehouse? Is it done? It is! Oh my god, how cute! So she can... Go in the treehouse, sit, sing, set decorations. Oh my god, how cute. Space Explorer decorations. Oh my god. I think it might be backwards. But everyone <laughs> everyone out outside can see our beautiful our beautiful treehouse decorations. What else can we do? Set admission rules. Play pretend enclosure. Aw. Watch nature. That's adorable. I absolutely love that. Also, the Finchwick Fair is going on right now. I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go with Ren because we have so much good produce and stuff in our inventory. Let's bring Sarah. I think she would enjoy that. Maybe this is where she will... Uh, Really, like, find her love of farming and animals and the country life, you know? It would be really cool if we could move to Henford on Bagley, but uh, the Legacy Challenge rules say that you have to stay in the same lot for the entire challenge. <laughs> but it's okay. We can make our lot, uh, you know, the vibe of Henford on Bagley. All right, we are here. Let's go ahead and submit something. Oh my god, there's gonna be chickens here. What can we submit? An egg? No, I want... Wait, is it just for chickens? Wait, I thought this was for... I thought this was for... Hang on a sec. Is this for animals? Chicken competition, egg competition. No! Oh my god, whatever. I thought it was for crops, but that's okay. We can just, like, spend the day here with Sarah. Oh, she can meet some other kids here, too. Hello! Hey. I'm Sarah! Nice Hello. to meet you, Chase! Oh, Alright, and then Ren, uh, let's go ahead and, like, browse these booths as well. Maybe there's some... Sell items, 10% profit. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, we can sell all the crops in our inventory for 10% more? I can't believe how much stuff we have. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at that, we're already at $13,000. Oh my god, we can sell our cross stitches too. I don't think I want to, I think I want to put them up on display. Alright, easy 43k. That's absolutely insane. Oh, here's another kid. Princeton. Princeton Bowie. Really funny introduction. It should be me. Oh my gosh, she's already <laughs> chatting it up with an alien. She's like, wow, I've never seen an alien before! She's, she's into it. We're just meeting all the kids today. I'm kind of sad that we can't interact with it. Oh, there's a chicken! Hi! Uh, a white hen. Talk about chicken video games. Tell a joke. Tell, tell a joke to the chicken. Why not? Wow. That's a nice egg. Who's calling Ren? Yo! Who are you getting romantic with? Bestie's romantic introduction? Sweetie, why? Who is this? Luke Bowie? Isn't that family? She's so popular. 
This is a really pretty alien. Oh my gosh, it's 8 p.m. Okay, we gotta go home. Sarah, I hope that you enjoy your time here, love. We gotta go. Dad's New Year's party is about to start. Okay, we are home. Edison, what are you up to? He's always on the computer, guys. Just chatting, chatting, chatting. All right, well, I'm gonna make the entire family happy and we're all gonna go over to our bar and uh, have a good New Year's. I'm pretty sure that there's a TV there. All right, let's go ahead and pause. I'm gonna get everyone to make a resolution really quick. Make a resolution. Uh, hmm. Let's just do raise a skill for Edison. For Ren, let's do promotion. For An uh, Evangeline, let's do get a significant other. And then can Sarah make a resolution? She can. Mm. Complete aspiration as well. All right. Oh my God, not it being singles night. All right, everyone made a resolution. Ch check that off the list. Sarah, why don't you bowl? Of course, What's paparazzi that? here. Dude, paparazzi follow Ren everywhere. It's kind of annoying. What are you doing? Watch New Year's Eve TV. Okay, that's fine. Oh my God, wait, every bowling lane has a TV. Stop, that's so cute. Oh, that's actually such a good idea. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ren is being fangirled over. Sarah and Evangeline are bowling. Edison is watching the New Year's Eve TV. Go, girl, go. Go, girl, go. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good, actually. This is pretty chill. Uh... All right, it's time to shishubi, guys. It's time to shishubi. Happy New Year's, everybody. He's handsome. Nips. Nice bone structure. Well, happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs> so proud. Happy New Year's, my love. Oh my god, Ren is chatting it up with another one of my Stardew Sims, Elliot. What is she doing? Pose for pictures, girl. He's cute. They would make a cute couple. Resolution complete already? That was fast. Craybell! Maisie Grove. Craybell! Oh my god, not him thinking Ren is attractive. He also thinks Elliot's attractive too. No! Ren is a f is freaking family bro! There's gotta be a way I could turn this off. Hey. Very fun, very fun. Yes, happy New happy. Year, let's go home. Finally, Evangeline's happy. I guess we just needed to leave the house with her. Oh my god, dude. I literally can't. <laughs> Not me saying I think Evangeline's gonna get the gloomy trait this episode, but she's getting the cheerful trait now. That's actually hilarious. I guess the wishing well did do something. Well, yeah, of course I want her to be cheerful. She's a comedian for crying out loud. I guess comedians could go both ways. Either cheerful or super sad. Pamper on the couch. Ooh, Ren is very focused right now. I think this is a good time to work on your robotics. Resume the quadcopter. Oh my god, look, she's almost maxed it. It's almost there. Come on, Ren, you could do it. You could do it, 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 do it, do it, do it. Alright, she's done it. <laughs> Let me quickly uh log all the skills that we have maxed so far in this episode. So skills maxed. Cooking for you. Alright. The next skill that I want to max for Ren is research and debate. So, uh, all right, there you go. Since she's very focused, this should give her a little boost as well. I think she's level eight. 
Yeah, all right, so one and a half skills to go. I'm gonna create a club for Sarah uh, that so they can play in the treehouse together. Um, let's just add all of the kids that she knows. Princeton, that is it. They're all boys. She hasn't met any, <laughs> she hasn't met any girls yet. Child, uh, club activities. I don't even know if like playing in the treehouse is on here. It doesn't look like it. Play on playground equipment? But I think this will be a good way to uh, max her social skill and also make friends. So it's Sunday. Let's start a gathering. Aw, look at how cute! That is so adorable. Treehouse vibes. You love to see it. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. I love it. That is the cutest thing ever. It's leveling up her creativity. Oh my gosh, she can play house. That's so cute. I wonder what that looks like. Oh, did you blow up the toilet? Nice job. <laughs> Oh my god, we maxed our social skill! Good job, girl. Very good job. So now all we have to do is become friends with three other children. Who who are you not friends with yet? Chase and Brendan, I think. Oh, they're just acquaintances right now. Hopefully after playing house, they will be friends. Man, this treehouse is so cute. I should have done this way earlier. I absolutely love it. Okay, so Sarah has made friends with all of the people in her club. The last thing that we need to do is become friends with two adults. Uh, are you not friends with Evangeline? You are. You're friends with Edison. Does that not count? All right, it looks like we need to find a friend or <laughs> an adult that's not in our household to get to know um, or to be friends with because for some reason the adults in our household are not counting. All right, she made friends with Patchy. We completed the social butterfly aspiration. So with this aspiration, you get the socially gifted reward trait. We build adult social skills faster. So that's pretty dope. Um, I don't know if we should get her another, uh, what's this? Evangeline is getting ready to take the stage. She's been practicing a brand new comedy routine that she wants to debut for the audience. Suddenly her cell phone rings. It's the president of the Plum Bob Pictures recording studio. He's been keeping tabs on Evangeline's career growth and thinks that she's going to be the hottest new comedian to ever hit the airwaves. In fact, he wants to lock down exclusive TV rights to Evangeline's act. But there's a single stipulation. Evangeline must get to the TV studio, the studio immediately, and debut her new routine on live. Debut her new routine on live TV. Uh, excuse me. Is Evangeline ready to skyrocket her career upwards, or will she continue growing on the comedy circuit at a slow, steady pace? Why would it? Okay, film the stand-up special. Evangeline will gain fame and be promoted to the top of the comedian career, or perform at the club. Evangeline's life will continue unchanged. Why would I not want to max this career? Like, I don't understand. Is it like the fame thing that would like deter people from? I don't care, we're doing it. We're filming the special. We just got $14,000 from that, what the heck? Um, That's crazy. Playtime captain. Uh, Yeah, let's do that one. Notable newcomer, promoted to showstopper. Just like that, Evangeline has leapfrogged her fellow comedians and attained international recognition. No more open mic nights, no more dingy venues, no more small fry clubs. Thanks to Plum Bob Pictures airing her debut stand-up TV show. Evangeline will be selling out arenas and recording hot new TV specials on a regular basis. Bask in the spotlight, she's earned it. So you're telling me that we just maxed our career? <laughs> wow! That is crazy but so dope dude so let me just log that into simstry really quick 
Um, that's pretty impressive, you guys. That is pretty impressive. I have never gotten that pop up before. Wow, her life really took a turn in this episode. Good job, Evangeline. She's so happy. Moving on up, notable newcomer. That's what's up, girl. Rocky has learned not to drink from the toilet. Let's go. All right, for Sarah's new aspiration, we need to get a splash pad. Place down an emitter and splash pad or travel to San Sequoia's Gilbert Gardens neighborhood and visit the pu park's public splash pad. Oh my God, Edison has 13,000 aspiration points. We can't get a money tree. I do like the savant thing. It helps build all skills much faster. He already has incredibly friendly. Ooh, let's get observant. I love that one. You learn all their traits just by meeting them. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna get for now. I'll save the rest for later. And then Sarah has 2,475. Let's get incredibly friendly for Sarah as well. I love the nice introduction. It is so clutch for making friends. Oh my God, Ren is over here reading conspiracy theories. Other people on the internet agreed with me, so it must be true. Please. Wait, it's Easter today? Does that mean that there's no school or work? All right, yeah, it is day off of school and work. Okay, well, cool. We can go to the gardens place in San Sequoia then and celebrate there. It says that Evangeline is still at work, but she's not. She's asleep in her bed. That's odd. I think Ren's about to max her research, research and debate skill. Oh my god, she totally is. That's two, skilled, two skills max this episode. We're getting a lot done today, guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. That's so exciting. All right, nice job, Ren. It doesn't even give me like that crazy like sound anymore when you max the skill. It's kind of just like, oh, Ren did another one. She did another one. Ren can have professional debate with professional debate with on a podium pair. She can also give professional commentary at a podium or podium pair. These are great ways to earn extra simoleons. Really, very interesting. That is good to know. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, travel to, I guess we're gonna celebrate at San Sequoia today. I never spend any time here, you guys, like ever. All right, here we are, Gilbert Garden. What is that? Festering bitterness about someone nearby? Who? Don't tell me it's Wilson. Seriously, who do you hate? Oh no, he's got a f Oh my god, hold on. Stole my partner. Festering grudge. <gasps> oh jeez. That's really unfortunate. I what Oh my god, what can we say to him? Can we say anything? Yell at for sleeping with your partner. They didn't even sleep together first of all. At least I don't think. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave it be. I'll just leave it be. All right, Sarah, this day is about you, so let's keep. Let's look for some eggs while, while we're here. I know that we already completed the egg collection, but I just want to check that off her list. Oh wow! She needs to be playful while we do it. Do we have a playful potion that she can have? Sleep, happy, hygienic. Focused, confident, inspired. Quirk be gone, moolet solver. No! Oh, fun! Will this boost your skill gain? Mmm. Alright, let's see if it makes her playful. How do I get her playful, guys? Silly behavior. Make silly faces, see if that works. Oh look, a friend! Ren likes silly behavior, that's cute. This paparazzi person follows us around literally everywhere. Oh no, this is a boy. Dandre de los Santos. Look at all of us. <laughs> this is so silly. Dude, I really need to get her silly somehow. Aw, who's this little boy? What's your name? Jordan? Jordan has vitiligo and heterochromia. 
Wow. What a unique boy. How are you doing? Oh my god, Edison just <laughs> autonomously told Ren about the separation. Why? Why did you do that? Not in front of Sarah. Also, I forgot to check what we can do with Sarah about it. Explain separation. Uh, I don't want to do that now. I don't want to make her sad. Oh, oh, oh! She's playful! We did it! We did it! Stop playfully! Quickly, quickly, quickly before it goes away! Come on, girl! Yeah! We did it. We freaking did it. You guys know how hard it is sometimes to get Sims in certain moods. Holy crap. Become friends with three other children. We are friends with three children. What are you talking about? More? Oh my god. Okay, who's this? Dallas Fires. Funny introduction. Oh, oh. Are we friends with you yet? Nope. Bro, you need a freaking potion, my guy. This has been a really interesting Easter. <laughs> um... It was like all about Sarah. Okay, it looks like we completed that branch. So we need to ride a bike for four hours and achieve level six motor skill. All right, who's that? Henry Eggleston. Eggleston? Eggleston. Huh, he's pretty handsome. I like his, uh, I like his style. All right, guys. Let's go home. We didn't get to do everything we wanted to do for Easter, but it's okay. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna leave this part right here. This episode was full of skill building, aspirations, all that good stuff. I'm really, really trying to get as many points as possible by the end of this, so. And the next one, hopefully we'll be aging up Sarah. It's going by so slow. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six days until we can age her up. But, gosh, oh, I want to do it early so bad, but I will refrain. I will refrain. I want to finish this aspiration for her too. We're on the last branch of it. We just need to get her a bike and work on her motor skills a little bit. So she will be maxing two of her childhood aspirations, which I don't think we've ever done that before. So that's great. And then Edison, I don't know if this was the right aspiration we could have picked because advising and influencing the lives of other Sims is actually really, really hard. So yeah, we might pick a new one. We're still chipping away at these collections, guys. We just need one more plant for the gardening one. And this is one that we need to get from 6am from like a specific like thing you can do on the rocket ship, like one of those like rabbit hole things. So we need to keep working on that. Sarah's got a ton of friends now, which is really exciting. Um, and the next one, I think that we should probably get her some kind of animal. So you guys are gonna have to let me know which one you think. Like, should we get a horse? Should we get a cow? Should we get a goat? Uh, I just wanna get one. And we can probably have like the little animal area be... Oh no, I don't even know. Maybe over here, since we have nothing over here yet. Or we can move the treehouse somewhere else and have the animal area be there. Or even over here, like get rid of the hot tub. Teddy did not contact us at all this episode. So I'm not really sure what's up with that or what's gonna happen with that. But she's not really, uh, she's not really putting in any effort. Oh my gosh, guys, look. He doesn't even find her attractive anymore. <gasps> that is so crazy. It's complicated, cheated on, perceived as basic looking, separated. Oh my God. That's crazy. That's honestly crazy. I didn't know that this like could change based on emotions, you know? Or maybe it was because she changed her style and changed her hair color. I don't really know, but wow, that's crazy. I do like the idea though of just like 
using this time with Edison to raise Sarah and once she starts aging up and stuff then maybe start dating more seriously and who knows we probably haven't even met Edison's soulmate yet so many possibilities so many options that we can do with this challenge really but i'm super stoked for sarah's generation super super stoked she's such a sweetheart i just feel like child sims are so easy to take care of <laughs> they're so sweet um and i haven't seen her make a mess once all right y'all i hope that you enjoyed this episode i love you all so very much thank you for watching thank you for being here i will be back very very soon with another video i hope that you guys have a lovely week and i'll see you very soon